Hey guys, uh, coming live at you one more time today. And who knows if it's gonna be the last time, but it doesn't matter. <sighs> About an hour ago or so, I had a conversation with a wonderful human being. As a part of my uh, 100 in 100 to 100, if you don't know what that is. Hi, Steven. If you don't know what that is, it's everywhere around my Facebook page. It's basically 100 complimentary powerful coaching experiences to 100 individuals, awesome individuals in 100 days or less. And uh, we're about at 31 now. But anyway, so I was on the phone with this wonderful human being and she was a um, little bit confused about how to create certain results. How, how to go about something that she wants to do. And it was so interesting because I told her, I said, you already know how. We already know how to do that. If you but only step back a little bit and, and limit the amount of information that you're receiving and kind of dial down this over, overweight, um, information overload, that you're receiving and all of us are that way I sometimes fall, fall into that where I keep piling up on information keep piling up on information and it just goes up on that digital shelf and never to be used again but I feel good at the moment because I'm receiving the information right so does this resonate with you where you're like okay but I I, I am receiving all this information I'm learning all of this stuff why aren't things happening to me? Why is just this, just adding to that confusion that I feel? Well, that's why, because it's information is not knowledge, you know? It's, it's knowledge when it's applied. And information just sitting out there is just adding to the confusion. And that's the case with a lot of people, a lot of us, and I'm sure that most of you can resonate with you. Maybe you you can resonate with you with, with this, where adding information just just adds to that confusion. Okay, what do I do next? What do I do? Why am I um, not clear about what the next step is going to be? And the truth is, it's not about acquiring more information. It's actually. <laughs> stopping that well not stopping but decreasing that information influx from coming in all the time because the, the answers are already in you guys the answers are already in you if you but just sit back and listen to your intuition to your imagination you already know what you get to do next you already know that all the answers are already there and the problem is that we often look for the answers outside of us. And when we look for answers outside of us, then that implies that there is somebody else outside of us who has the answers. The answers, the freaking answers are in us already. There is that being in us that already has all the answers. It's called your higher self. It's called your spirit that descends from your soul directly. And if you're not into metaphysical stuff, that's okay. Call it intuition then, it's the same thing. How about intuition? How about your gut feeling? How about sixth sense? How about hunch? It's all the same thing. Whether you agree with it or not, you know that it's there. But when you go, I don't know the answers. Where are the answers? Somebody gets to tell me what to do next, then you're giving your power away. Basically, you're staying, saying to yourself, it's outside of me, I don't have the answers, and you do. If you only, but, but you listen. And for that, dial down the information overload, you know, stop reading these articles, stop watching these videos, I will watch one, this one all the way to the end because it's good advice, at least I find it good. But dial down the need to pile up on this information all the time because it's just adding to your confusion. And if you tune in, you already know what you need to do next. Just stay with your why, stay with your dreams, stay with your vision know exactly what you want 
and allow for the answers to surface. And sometimes the answers will come from outside of you, but you don't have to be concerned with that. You don't have to think about how the answer will come. It will come. Some you will, you will meet with somebody. You will introduce you you'll be introduced to somebody. Somebody will call you. Somebody will send you an unexpected text message on Facebook. I don't know. But if you're looking at all the possibilities right now, it's not there. So why keep looking? And if you go, but but I don't see it here. Well, you don't see it there. And then the next thing is somebody gives me the answers. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just relax. A lot of the answers are in you. And those that are not in you, they'll show up in your experience in some way. But they'll be there for you. Chances are very good that you already know what to do next. But you've given some of your power away and you're looking for the answers outside of you. Anyway, I'm starting to um, you know, go on a tangent here, I guess, a little bit. The message is this. You don't need more information. You actually need less information, much less. You need more tuning in and looking for the answers inside of you. And how do you look for them? You feel for them. You allow for them. You dial down the resistance to them. That's how you look for them. They look for you. You just have to allow for them to come for you and come at you. That's all. Anyway, guys, I sometimes forget that myself. Don't don't you think that I I always follow my own advice, okay? <laughs> I'm not a perfect human being. Thank God I'm not a perfect human being. I used to be a perfectionist and I was not perfect at all. And now I know that I'm not perfect and I'm fine with that. Um, so I don't always listen to my own advice and it's, and it's easier to just, you know, to think about it when you see it in somebody else than when you see it in you. But I do listen often and so look for the answers inside of you and decrease that need to pile up on information and more information and more information and more more information that's never gonna serve you very well uh, when you get to find that information piece that you need for your next step you will be guided to that as well it'll just the next step will be shown for you if you lean forward you're gonna have to make a step and if you stay lean forward you're gonna have to make a next step and trust that you'll be able to make that next step. And if you look in your past, you have plenty of examples when you lean forward and the next step will, was revealed for you and the next one was revealed for you. It's just how it works. So the answers are already in you and you don't need more information. You actually need less information. By the way, if you have not taken a spot already for uh, complimentary, I can never think of that word right away. Always comes up as free, but free is so ugh, uh, free stuff. I don't like free stuff. Complimentary, powerful coaching experience, the 100 in, to 100 in 100. Private message me or mention in the comments, say something in the comments, and I'll send you the link to my calendar so you can book one of the remaining, I think, 69 spots in about 60 more days or, or 70 more days actually book one of these spots and let me look from outside of your own limitations because you can't see from outside of them but I can see from outside of your own limitations and I do have a coach who can see from outside of my limitations because I have limitations too that I can't see from outside of or I don't have the power to uh, take steps against my own limitations so that's why I have a coach so anyway if you want to you're invited to book a, a spot and I'll post that link for you when I'm out of traffic because I'm in traffic right now so finally dial down the need the need to consume information all the time and trust that you have the answers in you that's it and Nikki says well Nikki uh, I need to hear this you don't need anything Nikki you wanted to hear this but you didn't need to okay 
love you very much and I love you all and I'm gonna reply to all the comments when I'm out of traffic love you thank you for staying with me a couple of minutes see you next time bye